Can you think of any moment, memorable moment, over the years um, during surgery? Oh, absolutely. Look, I, I see memorable miracles just about every day in my practice. I mean, the, the commonest miracle is, is if I actually recognise a patient yeah, yeah, yeah. one year after their surgery. And I commonly have to whisper in my secretary's ear, just remind me, who is that person? <laughs> um, but there are some, there are some memorable moments. Um, there's a young lady called Amy who's posted on our website as one of the success stories. And not only has she written, but she's included a video blog and that is just a beautiful story uh, of how she has changed over time. Um, and the follow-up to that is that I just recently saw another blog that she has created, and I think she's three or four years down the track, and have discovered now she's pregnant, she's about to get married, she looks beautiful and happy, and that's such a satisfying thing. Mm, uh, and... Um, Happily, that is a common scenario following the surgery. So this is not just about delivering weight loss. We wanted to deliver health and happiness. Now, is there anyone who's got the other effect? Is there anyone who has wished they'd never had the surgery? Surprisingly, with the sleeve, very, very uncommon. Um, with the bands, perhaps a little more so because the quality of eating and drinking is not as good. But even sleeve patients who have had the worst complication like Lee can have recovered. Even the nightmare they'd had to go on through with that, they still say, I would do it all again because of the way I'm feeling now. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's no doubt that when we create a healthy lifestyle for ourselves, it rubs off on everything, everything we do, whether it's work, family, play, sleep, everything. We feel confident, um, we sleep better, wear better clothes, and have a lot more fun. That is not to say that there are not psychological implications from losing weight. And there have been some patients who, whose marriages have broken up mm. and because they have become a different person yeah. and often a more confident person who's not um, embarrassed by the way they look and... Um, uh, diminished in that relationship by the way they are and so when they lose weight uh, that is the instigation for them to realize that relationship is not right I don't think that's a bad thing no of course not no there are people that wish they could really just go out for a bike ride go out for a walk go for a run go hiking we're talking about getting fit and keeping fit I know I've I've been, I know, I've been there. I used to walk 20 kilometres a day. Most of my life I sort of put off doing things because of my weight. And we say, I don't want to do this, I don't want to go there. And all we wanted to do was simply go and have a swim or something that, you know, some, something that other people just take for granted. Obesity you know, inhibits all of those things. Absolutely. It inhibits them because physically it's hard and it hurts. Mm. So, you know, I reject the proposition that obese people are weak. Yeah, or happy. No, no, physically weak. Yeah. Actually, they are tremendously strong. They have to be strong to carry around that 40 kilograms. And one of the things we do uh, in our gym when people come back is at the six month or 12 month mark when they may have lost 25, 40 kilos, we put a weight belt on them yeah. to give them back that 25 kilos while they're doing their exercise tests, just to remind them of how much weight they have and how light they feel. I mean, I, I do a lot of hiking and backpacking. I dread carrying a 25 kilogram rucksack, yeah. you know, and yet an obese patient might be carrying many more times that amount. One of the other patients we operated on when he, he was 270 kilos to start with, He's now currently around 130. Um, when he had lost 100 kilograms, we loaded up a backpack with 100 kilograms worth of weight. We had a, a barbecue to celebrate his, uh, his milestone. There were very few people who could carry that backpack, and yet he'd been carrying it and walking around. So you can't tell me obese people aren't strong. Of course, 
the other activities, riding a bike, going to the beach, playing a sport, people may do that not just because they're physically hurting, but they're embarrassed. And so we can give that back to them. And yeah. that's a very gratifying thing. Yeah.